freestanding punching bags, like the one on my right here, and metal punching bag stands that you hang a punching bag from. They're both popular options for at-home use. Uh, they're both popular options because they avoid you having to drill into your ceiling or your wall and permanently installing a hanging heavy bag. They're also both popular options because they're somewhat mobile. So with the freestanding bag, you can tilt it back on its side and roll it to the side of the room or into the corner of the room. Now, a metal bag stand, if you have to move it, you can move it. It's a little bit harder. I'm not gonna demonstrate right now because I got a ton of weight on there, but you're not permanently drilling into your ceiling. It's still mobile. In this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of both of these options to help you better choose what's the best fit for you. All right, now first, for the pros of the metal bag stand option, so hanging a heavy bag from a metal bag stand like you see here, one of the pros of this option are that you don't have to fill it up with sand like with the freestanding bag. Okay, it does require some assembly though, but you don't have to go buy a bunch of sand to fill it up. Another pro is that you can customize how much weight you put on it. So you can really find the right amount of weight for you if you're hitting it and it's jumping around, skipping around a lot, you just add more weight. But really, the best pro of this kind of bag, in my opinion, is that it has a little bit of that swing that you'd get with a traditional heavy bag, which makes for a, like an excellent feel when you hit it. It's a really great feel when you hit this bag because it has that swing, but it doesn't have all the swing that a traditional hanging heavy bag has, which, you know, it's a pro that it has a little bit, but it is, I should note that it is missing some of that swing. Now, let's talk about the cons of the metal bag stand bag. Number one, you're gonna need to assemble this whole big metal bag stand. It's gonna come to you in pieces. You're gonna need tools to do so. It's gonna take you a little bit of time. No big deal, a little Ikea project for you, okay? Another con is that you're gonna need to buy some weights, or you might have weights at home, but you're gonna have to throw them on here, and you're not gonna be able to use them, or you're gonna have to take them off the bag stand, put them on your weight stand, put them back on the bag stand. So to me, that's a con. Another huge con me the number one con is this. It really limits the angles through which you can attack the bag. So you kind of are forcing yourself to be in this general area the whole time. If you want to kind of go to the side, the weights are going to get in your way. It makes it difficult to kick it. I think that's a huge con personally. And then finally, it's super unstable. Even though you really weigh it down with all these weights, you see when you hit it, the thing is really shaking all over the place, lifting up off the ground. It could be a safety hazard. I've seen it happen to people where somebody's hitting one of these. Maybe there's not enough weight, it jumps up, and then the weight ends up on your foot. That's not good. You want a stable, reliable bag to hit. This is not always that for you. All right, now for the pros and the cons of the freestanding punching bag. Right here, we do have the Fight Camp freestanding punching bag. I will note that not all freestanding punching bags are created equal. We're gonna start with the pros. All right, the pros of this bag, first and foremost, is that it fits a little bit more nicely into a home situation than a big metal stand bag, and it is very mobile. So if I wanted to move this to the corner of a room, it's easy to do so. Another pro of this bag is if you have a good version of one of these freestanding punching bags, it's not gonna make a ton of noise if you set it up properly, you fill it with a ton of sand. It's gonna be a very oosh, reliable mash. You're gonna be able to put a lot of punching power on it without it skipping all over the place and slamming on the floor. So really, it's a reliable mash. When you fill it up properly, when you get the right freestanding bag, it has an awesome feel. When you're hitting it, it doesn't skip around, it's there for you and it feels great to hit it. Now, I should caveat that not all of these bags are created equal. Like I said, we have Mike Tyson hitting this one. It's tight. It stood up to the test of the power. Some freestanding bags, you hit them, boom, they knock right over. Some don't knock over, but they just rock around a lot. So really, do your research. Make sure you find a freestanding bag that's a good fit for you if you want the pros that we just discussed. But before you do so, let's talk about the cons of a freestanding bag, okay? Number one, this is gonna be a con with all freestanding bags, and I think it's more of a con with the Fight Camp bag. You have to fill it up with sand. Now, because the Fight Camp bag holds way more sand than most bags, that's both a good thing because it makes it more reliable to hit, but it's gonna make setup more difficult. You gotta get a funnel, you gotta get bags of sand, you gotta sit there and pour the sand into the funnel. It takes a really long time. It's a pain in the butt. You'll be thankful that you did it though, and that you didn't skip out and put water or something like that. 
Another con is with freestanding bags, some of them are not built to really withstand a lot of force. So we've done a lot of demos with these bags. You can check out our other videos on this YouTube channel. And you know, look, some of these bags, you hit them, they fall right to the ground, they make a ton of noise. So that is a con of freestanding bags. They can really shake the ground if they're coming up off the ground and slamming. So choose wisely. With the Fight Camp bag, that's less likely to happen, but with anything, you're punching. Whether it's a bag on a metal stand, a bag that's hung in your ceiling and it's vibrating your whole house, or a big reliable freestanding bag like the Fight Camp bag, boxing is an aggressive workout. You're gonna be punching it. It's gonna make some noise, okay? All right, so that is the pros and cons of the metal bag stand, bag hanging from that, and the freestanding punching bag. Now, not every single person is the same. Every person has different requirements and different needs and different desires and different wants. So I'm not gonna tell you which is the right bag for you, okay? I just hope that this video, the pros and cons of each, helps guide you in the right decision. I just hope that this video, where we discuss the pros and the cons of each, helps guide you in the right direction so you can make a decision that's best for you. And look, no matter what you decide, the best part about Fight Camp is Fight Camp's not just a bag, it's a program, thousands of workouts, trainer-led workouts, beginner to advanced, all this content is available to you no matter if you use a metal stand bag, a freestanding bag, a Fight Camp bag, it doesn't have to be our bag, you could still use Fight Camp, okay? I will see you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, save. Make sure you comment whether you got something bad to say. I know a lot of you do. I see you all in the comment sections. That's okay. Let us know if you want us to talk about anything else, cover any other subjects, do any other reviews. I'll be looking at the comment section and waiting for inspiration for our next video. Until then, I'll see you.